Nor Sadon is a Frenchman that doesn't have too much about himself nor his past on the internet. Shrouded in mystery, the few facts we do know about Nor is told to us by him and what we've been able to see publicly for the last 10 months. Nor started out as a YouTuber making AMVs in November 2011. He spent five years doing that. YouTube then proceeded to yank the carpet from underneath him, causing him to quit. In March of 2016, he started another channel and played League of Legends for another two and a half years. He was averaging 3,000 views per video, and that number was growing. Some things happened, and he quit, deciding to instead focus on personal development in June of 2018. He once again became a nobody, and he had to start from square zero. Then, in early 2020, he got his master's degree in software engineering. A few months later, he decided to become a game developer. This is when he decided to make a game that was inspired by Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Golden Sun, three franchises that he absolutely loves. On December the 1st of 2020, Nor launched his Kickstarter campaign for Final Stardust, which would meet the funding goal and the stretch goal to amount to over 23,000 USD. He's just released a vertical slice of Final Stardust, which you can find in the description below. First, let me tell you a little bit about the game itself. Final Stardust is a story-driven, monster-taming JRPG adventure game. Now that's a lot, so let's break it down. Think of the game as an anime game. That's what Nor is aiming for that allows you to tame monsters called Planos, like Pokemon, that uses cards called Simons, like Yu-Gi-Oh, to battle in a JRPG like Golden Sun. The name Plano comes from planets in the possessive Japanese particle No. What's really cool is that some Planos actually talk, spoiler, like your partner. Thanks to the stretch goal being met, there's actually going to be an extra 50 Planos for a total of 100, and since the end of the Kickstarter, He's been busting ass to create the game, which will have very high quality pixel art, sophisticated battle systems, a mature plot, interesting planos, and great voice acting. He's also been making videos constantly on his channel, including releasing some of the OST copyright free. The game is based around three main characters. Mephisto, Nefasto, and Fenrir, or Mephisto, Nefasto, and Fenrir. Mephisto, our hero who has a plus sign on his cheek, and Nefasto, our villain who has a minus sign on the opposite cheek, are twin brothers. Nefasto has always been the chaotic one, but it was a huge surprise still when he just suddenly left home, and now he is inexplicably swearing to destroy all Planos and his brother along with him. Mephisto just wants to stop him and save his brother. Both are elementalists, which are tamers of Planos, and it's up to our hero to use those Planos to protect the world, but luckily he's not alone. Fenror, a rare Plano that can speak, joins him pretty early on. And interestingly, Planos are not from this world. They come from other worlds. And I'll cover this in a minute. But what's important to know here is that there are three types of Planos. You have normal Planos, Mighty Planos, and Planos Gods. Planos Gods are the strongest to exist, and they can speak and think just like humans. I really wonder how this will affect the story since Mephisto buddies up with Fenror, a Planos god himself, so early. Planos 
before we go any further make sure you hit that subscribe and like button i would greatly appreciate both now let's get back to the video here's some of the basics of Northside Autos final stardust like i mentioned earlier all planos are from different planets and which planet they come from affects their elements their topping whatever planet they came from that is their element so mars is mars jupiter is jupiter venus is venus and mercury is mercury that said there are two more elements dark and celestial both being special elements that are stronger than the other basic elements with dark being similar to shinies except there's an actual meaningful difference but besides just color interestingly all planos have a dark form but they're very rare to encounter in the final game, the chances to meet a dark form will be around 1%. And Mephisto's partner Fenror will have four other forms besides his base form, and each of the four basic elements will have a form. In fact, each form of Fenror will also have a dark form. That's a total of 10 forms for Fenror alone. Now, the last element is Celestial, which is reserved for the gods themselves. Extremely rare, but very powerful. On top of that, each Plano's color scheme is also heavily dependent on their element. Mercury is primarily blue, Venus primarily orange, Mars primarily red, Jupiter primarily purple, Dark primarily black, and Celestial primarily white. This is an extremely easy way to know what element each Planos is. Oh, and each of the elements will have an elemental star that you'll need to retrieve that is defended by a guardian. The only guardian we know of so far is Racia. I'm guessing it's probably pronounced something like Racia. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> but that's the only guardian we know of so far, and these elemental stars have powers. What powers? Well, the one I do know, I'm not going to spoil you, and the other three we do not know. The battle system is turn-based, but there are a few original takes to it. When you enter into battle, you'll see a transition screen that will be reminiscent of Golden Sun for anybody that's played that before, and at the beginning of each turn, a player gets to draw another assignment, which is the type of card that you'll be using in Planos battles. They have many abilities, but there are five main categories for them support assignments which do things like healing increasing mp and other similar effects augmentation assignments which do things like increase attack increase spell damage etc elemental assignments these will do things like fix damage change a planal type and crazy things like that sealing assignments which help seal wild planos and sealing them is how you get to tame them and use them in the future battles and finally Foresight Simons, and they're the newest edition, which have delayed activations. It could be things like second ultimate draw, KO block, and if you're asking what's ultimate draw, you're just going to have to hold your horses and wait a minute. I'll get to that. Don't worry. And the main thing here is to know that these cards, Simons, are actions one can take during battle besides attacks. The name partly comes from the Japanese word for ability, Sight and meant an element. So you can already see, to an extent, the grounding for why Final Stardust will be close to an anime game. And the battle system also features turn effects, which will only come into play every five turns. These are things that can completely shake up the battle and change the tide. <laughs> One of the unique parts of the battle system is called Ultimate Draw. Ultimate Draw is a once per battle action that allows you to pick a assignment in your deck and draw it immediately. This can be used to completely change the battle or to do things like help with sealing away a planos. This is a super powerful move that you'll be using a good bit in the game so do not dismiss it. And another unique battle mechanic is called Synergy. Synergy allows you to use moves that are not regular spells or assignments. You have to use your stacks to use a synergy move. 
you can gain a stack of a certain element each time you use a spell of that element. Stacks will be added at the end of the turn only if your planal did not get knocked out. And once you have the right stacks, you can use the synergy move, which can be absolutely devastating to your opponent as these are powerful moves. And of course, another super important part of monster taming games is the taming aspect of it. And ceiling is capturing. And you'll need to use ceiling simants to do that. The goal is to get the ceiling percentage to 100%. But there are a few factors that go into how much the percentage is increased whenever a ceiling assignment is used. The first thing is dependent on is the level of the assignment. The level difference and HP level of the enemy plano are also important for the formula of deciding how much assignment will seal in percentage. This isn't like Pokemon where you throw a ball out and insta catch it. Ceiling takes time and strategy. Nor just released the long-awaited vertical slice that he's been working on hard for over 10 months, and you can play it. Make sure you look in the description below to find it. He's looking to sign up with a publisher so that he can soundly finish his game. So downloading it and playing the vertical slice does help a lot. He'd appreciate it. And you'd appreciate yourself for playing such an enjoyable and beautiful game. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you all like this video, subscribe it, go in the description below to play the game, and just enjoy it. Alright, that's all I got for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one, and Retro on!